Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick review here on the Master Lock Magnum Lock with this really long model number. <laughs> but the skinny on this particular lock is that it is basically weatherproof, it's great for using outdoors. It's designed to be cut resistant, weather resistant, and rust proof for the life of the product. It has a lifetime guarantee. But of course, advertising is one thing and holding up to its word is another. So obviously, I'll be taking that into consideration in this review. And then here on the back, it just details some of the design elements that helps it achieve that. Also on the back is the key code that is specific to this lock. So if you needed more keys or you lost them, you can go onto Master Lock's website and put in that key code. So to get this out of the packaging, is kind of unique. You do have to cut away this little stem holding in the keys. And you do get two keys, so hopefully you keep one tucked away as a spare. Once the key is free, you use it to actually free the lock. So this is how you can test out the lock. So flipping over the little protective cover, you are able to access the keyhole and you just give it a little turn to the right and then it opens right up. And if you haven't noticed already, the height of the lock overhang is a little bit longer than a typical lock. The distance in between when locked is actually one and a half inches. You can see this a little bit more clearly with a typical combo lock I have on the right here. That additional height just makes it a little bit more versatile to be used in different situations. For me, I was planning to use it to lock up my shed. As you can see, the design doesn't have any kind of overhead protection in case it does rain, so I really did need something to be water resistant. So I've had this lock on the shed for a good three months now and since then it's been really hot, it's been cold, and not to mention a lot of rain. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the condition of it after three months. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Um, if you see any of the yellow stuff, it's not rust, it's just a little bit of lubricant because you know that is a high wear area. So aside from the cobwebs, it looks like it's in really great shape. The locking hook looks okay, and then let's take a look at the keyhole portion. No rust here either, the key still works smoothly. The little rubber flap did a pretty good job keeping water out. Though I do think they could have done a little bit better job with designing the flaps that it would hold with the rest of the encasing better because it did come off at one point. But I'm happy to report that so far this lock has been holding up very well. I definitely have opened it and closed it a number of times during the three months. And each time it still has that satisfying click as it was when it was brand new. So if you guys are interested, as usual, I'll put the link in the description.